welcome back to another video. I'm Jasmine. I'm Chris. We're Sweet Simple Vegan, and we are going to show you how to make one of my favorite recipes today. I feel like I say that all the time, but this is truly gold right here. Oof, it's the best thing I've ever eaten. We actually cut into it. Um, we are filming this intro last <laughs> after we filmed the whole video. So it is cut into, but we've got ourselves a beautiful loaf here. We made a no need Super easy, four ingredient loaf of bread, and it's tasty, it's affordable, it's super easy to make, and I think this is going to be a new staple in your household. And I think it's safe to say that there's no need to knead this bread. What? <laughs> so, um, enough chit chat, let's just get into the video. Not only is this a no need bread recipe, but it is also a very minimal ingredient recipe in general. All you need is all purpose flour, salt, active dry yeast, and some water. You can add other flavorings if you want, but today I'm keeping it simple. And I'm just showing you the base. You can build off of it however you'd like. We've made this adding garlic, rosemary, olives. You can add onion flakes, raisins, whatever you'd like, throw it in. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. So we're starting out with some all purpose flour. Then we're adding in some salt, and then we have some active dry yeast. And now we're just going to mix this together until everything is nice and uniform. So I'm going to kind of form a well in the middle of the flour mixture. I'm going to pour in the water, and then I'm going to just incorporate this until everything forms a nice uniform dough. So I'm just making sure that the flour is in integrated into the mixture. Sometimes it can get stuck at the bottom. So you just wanna make sure you flip it over a few times to just get that. And the last step, so simple. Just take a clean kitchen towel and we're going to just lay this over, put this into a warm area and allow this to rise overnight. So usually I'll do this after dinner and then it'll rise and I'll make the bread the next morning. That is not what we're doing today because we were filming a YouTube video for you guys. So I actually have a prepared dough that I did last night and I'll show you the next step. Let me just go get it. I feel like this is the cooking channel, you know, and they're like, let this sit overnight and then they just like randomly pull it out of the oven. Well, here's my dough from last night. I have a cutting board here and I'm just going to give it a quick sprinkle with some flour. This dough is going to be sticky, but that's how it's supposed to be. So I have my dough here, and as you can see, it's risen quite a bit, and it's pretty loose. It has like a very soft and wet um, consistency, but that's how it's supposed to be. So I am going to scoop all of the dough onto the cutting board. I'm going to take some flour and just throw that on top as well. Bench scraper, it's gonna be very helpful here, but I'm going to take the dough and kind of just like fold it over itself to form a ball. So that is it. All you had to do was just flip it over a couple times and that's how you prep the dough. No kneading, no fuss, nothing crazy. And I love this recipe because anybody can do it. It's so easy. So I have some parchment paper. This is gonna come in handy later. And what I'm going to do, this bowl is really deep, I realize. I usually use the bowl behind me. It's more shallow. It's kind of easier to work with, but uh, oh well, ASMR. So I'm lining this with parchment paper and we're going to rise the dough. And the reason why I put the parchment paper is because later um, when we are working with the Dutch oven, when we're baking the bread, the Dutch oven is pretty hot. And the easiest thing to do is just pick up the parchment and put it in the Dutch oven. So I'm going to just pick up this dough and throw it in there. And I'm just going to take the kitchen towel that I used earlier, cover this up, and allow this to rise for about two hours in a warm space. So the dough has been rising for about an hour and 30 minutes now, and this last 30 minutes I'm going to use to preheat the Dutch oven. You want the Dutch oven to be hot before you put the dough in it because that'll bring a burst of steam and that's actually what helps give the dough a nice crusty outside and makes it beautiful. So I have two options here. We're not using two Dutch ovens, but I just wanted to show you the two that we have, just in case you don't know what a Dutch oven is or you're looking to purchase one. 
These two I've had a lot of success with and I would recommend them. So starting with this one, this is the Cravings brand by Chrissy Teigen and this is sold at Target. So this one's about $40 and they do have other comparable ones that are available there that are different brands. They sell them at department stores, Amazon. The cheapest I've seen a Dutch oven is about $40. And this one works really well. It's actually um, what we've been using for the bread. We actually got this to make the bread a couple months ago. And yeah, it's just really high quality. They sell multiple colors as well, but I just kept it to the black one, just kept it classic. And then this one here is the La Crusette. This one is a little more expensive. We actually got this as a Christmas present. Shout out to Chris's parents. It's one of my favorite things in the whole kitchen. I've always wanted one of these. I feel like official now. Um, so I'm excited for this. We're going to make the bread in this today. And I actually haven't made it in this. This is gonna be our first time, so I'm excited. So I just wanted to share these two options with you just in case I will link them down below as well as other options if you're looking to purchase a Dutch oven. So I'm going to pop this into the oven, allow it to heat up for 30 minutes, and then I will be back to show you the, I guess it's the final step. All right, so the Dutch oven has warmed up in the oven. The Dutch oven has warmed up in the oven. The Dutch oven has preheated, that's a better way to say it. And so I'm just going to grab it out of the oven. I'm going to pop this risen dough into it and I'm going to pop it right back in. And then we're gonna wait and have some bread. So this is going to beep in 10 seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove the lid and allow it to bake for about 15 minutes more. Um, removing the lid just allows for the top to become, Alexa stop. So when I remove the lid, it allows the top to become nice and golden brown and get that crispy, beautiful crust. We cut into the bread. It smells delicious, it looks delicious. We had to wait a while because we needed it to cool completely before cutting, which is a tip. You should do the same when you bake bread, wait till it cools completely for- I was so tempted to just fresh hot bread. I know, he mm. wanted me to cut it, I was like, no. <laughs> so we got it. Ooh, taste oh, test. Smells good, looks good, nice and soft on the inside. It's got that hard crust on the outside. You guys. I'm dead. You don't need to buy loaves of bread. You can make this, it was so easy. This is gonna be a daily ritual for us. Affordable and so good. Honestly, last time Jasmine made this loaf of bread. I think you ate the whole thing. I ate the whole thing within an hour. Mm -hmm. No exaggeration. And it was amazing. <laughs> Honestly, nothing compares to fresh bread. Mm -mm. So, mm -mm. but I mean, it takes a little bit of time, Water. but it's so simple to make that I would just make your own bread. Ooh, ooh, dry bread going down. You know what I mean? All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you aren't subscribed. Hit the bell for post notifications, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye. Peace.